Hello there folks, DJ Bergstar here back with another tip of the day. So today is an extension of a tutorial I put up on how to use Cthulhu and how to use the chord function in Cthulhu. And today what I thought I would do would be to show you how to use the arpeggiator in Cthulhu because it can really help you with your song writing um, and it follows the same sort of idea as the um, way you produce interesting chords um, just with one finger um, in Cthulhu and how it can come up with some really advanced um, awesome chord patterns for you even if you don't know um, music theory that well. So let me go over a little bit of the chord function again just to remind you how that worked and then we can move on to the arpeggiator. So Cthulhu is a third party plugin and what you do is you throw it on a MIDI track and let's show you what it looks like here. I'll launch it again. Um, and so this is what the chord section of Cthulhu looks like. And I'm not going to go over everything because I did that in the other video. But over here, you can choose your preset. Today, I've chosen a D minor um, on this Deep House chords, and that's what we're going to be using. And so what you do is, is you throw this on a MIDI track, and then um, on another track that you've chosen an instrument or a sound you want to play using Cthulhu, you would... Uh, let's see here. Um, you route this, and so I've got this one, and this is on track three. So over here on this MIDI track, I'm routing this by saying MIDI from Cthulhu and Cthulhu three, and then you just choose Cthulhu as your next option and then you want to make sure you have the record enabled down here so it can read the incoming notes so now when i play a note you'll see that it's going to play chords let's open cthulhu here again on track three um, and so here's what happens i'm just pressing one note and cthulhu's coming up with these really cool sort of advanced chords for me to choose from and so the idea would be to come up with a nice chord progression that you like and you can use that for your chord progression and then you can move on to the arpeggiator and that's what we're going to do now so what i did was um, i already put together this little chord progression here let me double click on it so here's the chord progression i chose um, and these are just simple notes uh, that I hit here. Uh, let's play it and see what it sounds like. All right, that's all well and good. Now we're going to use that same chord progression to come up with some really cool arpeggiator um, things. So what you do is, is what I've done is I put Cthulhu on another track and I used the same um, setting here for my chords. Let's turn the arpeggiator off for a second. So um, in other words, I chose the same uh, D minor here for my preset to make sure that um, you know everything's in the same key and so um, what we're gonna do is is let me get this out of the way um, now I'm gonna choose a different sound that I want for a melody line or an impagiator um, so we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna come up with a bass line and we're gonna do this all with that same simple chord progression we're not gonna change anything so here's what it's gonna sound like Let's go to the next sound I chose, um, and this is another synthesizer here, and I'm going to press record here so it can read these incoming notes. And now when I play here, um, and this is routed to one, so let's see, we're going to route, we're going to play this, okay, let's see what happened here. 
Let's launch Cthulhu. Now it's using the same chords. If I turn that off, you see it's the same chords, but I've turned on our Arpeggiator. And so when you click this button up here, now it's going to go to the Arpeggiator section of Cthulhu. And over here, just like in the chord section, you have presets. And so I've just chosen a preset here. Um, I think I'm on ARP number five. Um, so I just chose that. And now here's where it gets interesting. See here, I'm on a 16th note, and that's why it's doing this um, at that speed. Now if I was to change this up, I could faster and slower with that. But I want this to be a kind of a normal arpeggiator sound, so I'm setting that on 16. Now, um, all of these controls in here, they look a little complicated, but they're not. Um, so if I was to just go through here and let's go to B so I get a clean one. Um, if I just went across like this, you can see now they're all just going to go up. Do, 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 do. Let's play that. Um, and then if I go to the next one, you can see they all go down. Um, let's get this re trigger off, I think. There we go. And here they're going up and down. And then here they would go down and up. and so on. And it gives you a little graph there so you kind of know what you're doing. Um, and then of course you can just go crazy and move your mouse like that and uh, now some are going down, some are going down and up and you know follows these different uh, patterns. And so that's what the top section is here. And then the bottom section is you can actually pick the actual notes um, of that chord um, that you wanted to sort of play so now we're on eighth note here so we could change that make it go faster some of these other controls down here are interesting you can have it re-trigger um, and then of course if you put chord on it'll do both the arpeggiator and the chord and it's got swing and gate is kind of nice if you want those notes to be held out or kind of ring out or if you want them chopped off real quick I've got both things going here. I could mute this other one so we're just hearing the arpeggiator. Okay. Now, what's real interesting here is I've got this set to 16th notes. And so let's turn on the chords again here. Now let's add a bass line. So what you do with the bass is interesting because what we can do is I'm routing this again to another Cthulhu that I basically just duplicated. And so this now is routed to two. So Cthulhu on track two here. And let's look at this now. So what I've done is, is on this one, um, I've changed it to an eighth note. Uh, so this would be a bass line that's not, you know, do, 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 do. it's more of a doom, 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 doom. And, of course, I chose lower notes for my bass here. So it would, um, you know, be in that bass mode rather than go way up high. Uh, so let's listen to that when I add my bass. Let's see here. Got to play it. So these are the bass notes playing here. Let's play that by itself. A 
of course I could change this up, so it went higher. But I like to keep that kind of down in the bass. So basically just with this one chord pattern that um, we picked out originally here with these notes, we were able to come up with this whole um, sort of uh, cycle where it's playing through the chords and my arpeggiator and a bass line all with just these one notes that we picked out uh, with one finger here so let's play that um, let's get this solo off of here I'll put on my drums arpeggiator you also can select your octaves and change the pitches around and your velocities and um, you know your gait and sort of modify this to your liking um, and if you hit harmony that gets a little complicated because it might throw in some notes that don't go with that chord um, so you um, sort of have to test that around or else it could sound a little uh, funky uh, anyway um, so you know, you can pick these presets in here um, in the arpeggiator. Um, and let's see. Yeah. So there's a presets in the arpeggiator and there's presets for the chords. Um, and when you put it all together, um, whoops, and you route this, let's get rid of that. Um, you have to have all these on. Um, record enable or it won't hear the incoming notes from Cthulhu um, so anyway that's how you kind of use the arpeggiator in um, Cthulhu and again what was cool about it is we just chose these ori original just four notes um, that we played in Cthulhu and then it came up with this you know bass line for us by changing um, the down to eighth notes here instead of 16th notes and then for the um, sort of arpeggiator um, we, we did was is we had that set to 16th notes and so let's go back let's see here let's pick a different uh, preset here So you can play around with the uh, presets until you kind of find one you like. Um, and the arpeggiator is pretty uh, advanced um, and you just want to use your own sounds. Uh, these are just the ones I chose. Um, and the routing is important that you route these to the right Cthulhu. Um, and like I said, I just duplicated these to make it simple on myself. Cthulhu has all these random buttons where it'll just randomly choose things as well so you can just start playing around with the dice here um, and see if you find one that maybe hey that one sounds great and uh, with the dice and just leave it there but um, I think for the baseline and for your arpeggiator it's um, important to choose the 16th note or 8th note you know to slow that bass down so it doesn't um, uh, you know, sound too much like an arpeggiator, but more of a bass line. And 
then the chords. And the chords are not using the arpeggiator. Um, it's just using the chord function here, where I've got the arpeggiator off. Uh, and that's where we came up with the whole uh, sequence for this song. And you can make it a lot more complicated. I just chose these four notes, but you can make this um, as long as you want and have, you know, lots of different things going on. So uh, Cthulhu is a pretty cool plugin, and um, I hope I explain that arpeggiator properly for you. So uh, have fun with it, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. DJ Bergstar out.